Ed Marsh here with a quick thought on industrial sales and manufacturing marketing. SaaS software, by definition, has been essentially an online business from its inception. That contrasts with B2B industrials that have manufacturing factories staffed by people and who have sold belly button to belly button for a century. So it's understandable that software companies are more agile in using online tools for sales, marketing, and other business functions when that's their world. And it's also understandable that industrial manufacturers naturally hew to the techniques that they associate with traditional success. Let's talk about conversational marketing and conversational selling, for instance. And first, let's define conversational marketing and sales. What I really mean is both what they've always done, face-to-face -face in a trade show booth, across the desk, around the conference table, and a modern analog that allows us to replicate an in-person interaction and dialogue using technology. Often, that means a combination of chatbot and live chat, perhaps some SMS and other tools on a website. The idea is that we think of the kinds of interactions that we enjoy as humans, conversation and engagement, and figure out how to try to replicate that when we're not face-to-face. -face. Now, for technology companies, it was a pretty short jump for them to adapt to using chat on their sites. Many even completely removed telephone numbers. That feels foreign for traditional manufacturers, and they hesitate. They offer a number of justifications for their hesitation. Some are projections of their preferences. Some are based on limited feedback. Some are based on disappointing personal experience, and some are just mindset. For instance, many business owners and senior execs don't want to use chatbots. They may not even know to look for them on a website. And based on that alone, they assume that their buyers don't want to. Sometimes that's reinforced anecdotally through conversation with some of their contemporaries in companies with whom they've built relationships over the years. Often they're the same generation and background. Of course, we all have to recognize that chatbots don't always deliver superb customer experience. The recent news about the Air Canada chatbot screw up is an example. So executives may have tried them and found them wanting. And in some cases, it's what they think just because. So more on chatbots in a second, but first conversational marketing and conversational sales doesn't have to be just about chatbots and live chat. It can include SMS on a site to quickly connect and outbound. It can include telephone, Zoom, brief sales videos, etc. In other words, various options to offer a convenient and preferred experience for buyers. But a bit more on chat. Let's think about what the chat journey entails. Often a chatbot is the initial connection. It provides a low threshold assistant to navigate a site, find info, connect with the right department, etc. In some cases, that's enough, but then it may go further. For instance, it could shift to collect a couple bits of information in exchange for access to some higher value gated content. A chatbot can greet people in a contextually appropriate way, as a customer, as a returning visitor, as someone with an active opportunity, as an industry journalist or competitor, and the experience can be customized based on behavior. For instance, if they visit your pricing page after several visits to pages with product info. Then you can go further and offer them a live connection to someone who can help, handling the, handing the chatbot conversation off to a real person in the right department to help them. It can also connect to a meeting scheduling calendar or even to a Zoom meeting as conversation becomes increasingly personal and detailed. The best way to think of conversational marketing is an expansion of what industrial companies have always done. And further, as a continuum of connection channels. At a meta level, it's about improving buyer experience and increasing your rep's effectiveness.